Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton, and it's time for me to play more video games for you, today, this afternoon, or indeed this evening. Uh, so yeah, playing more of this video game, Teardown, which, well, we've been working our way through the campaign. It's good fun. It's a low-key, it's a technical marvel, it's very delightfully designed, uh, which I have talked about at great length over the course of uh, playing the damn thing. I think last time we had a rummage around the guy's newly expanded home, and we're ready to set off for uh, Chapter 2's uh, actions of various terrible vandalous natures. Let me know if the game audio is correct. This is supposed to be like snow and ice noises, but then there's also noises like or indeed and of course everyone's favourite Coolio, alright just have to perform the ceremonial destruction of the chair to get started and let's dive into the actual game A Manatee Days Discreet Photographer Greetings, we have not been formally introduced, and I would prefer to keep it that way. A mutual friend, Mr. Wu, informed me of your proficiency in entering and exiting locations undetected. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was undetected. I get detected a lot of the time, they just fail to catch me. Due to an increase in popularity, the beverage business I run requires a security upgrade, especially the facility on Hollow Rock Island. I contacted RoboSec to inquire about their autonomous guard bots, but the price is exorbitant. However, they offered a significant discount if I provide information on robot research by their competitor, Killer's Security. Are you interested in helping me obtain this? A few close-up photographs of their prototypes would be enough, and I will reward you handsomely. Oh, hell yeah, a new facility. Presumably... One full of autonomous guard robots, which will presumably also be full of bullets, which they will presumably propel at me with a great deal of uh, care and attention. All right, let's scope out the location. Test chambers lying around that I need to get, I guess. And then I, it looks like I can't go into the rest of the island over here. Which presumably... Are they underground, maybe? Secret underground test chambers, which means I need to find a way in. There's a whole, there's a whole facility, there's a whole site to explore that I'm not allowed to go to yet. I suppose this is the equivalent of um, the first mission of the game. Or... Oh, you like Robo? I thought you didn't like robots. Or is it just mechs? Yeah, so if I keep going this way, I'll probably run into the holodex uh, wall. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Not allowed. Can't go that way. Ah, okay, so it's an entire secret site in there that I'm supposed to get into without getting spotted. Let's see. Take pictures of the new prototypes. Doesn't list any alarms. Although presumably I'll get, you know, if I get seen by a guard robot, that will be alarming to the robot, at the very least, if not also me. I wonder if there's a safer, easier way in down here. Uh, this is just water. Well, I'm glad you think robots are cool, I say. Speaking as uh, the world's least favourite <coughs> um, RoboGirl themed uh, streamer. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing up here except for... Uh, the underground stuff, so I have to break in. I kind of thought there might be some valuables lying around. Maybe washed up on the beach, or... Abandoned on the island, I don't know. Rare sparrow eggs? Could be anything. Aha! Battery-powered radio, I guess that's better than nothing. I'm going to check the other side of the top of the island before I start breaking in through the door. This is interesting because we've had a whole first chapter of the game which has been extremely quiet, very, very 
you know, it's a violent game, but it's very contemplative with it. You, you know, no one's around. You get as much time as you like to plan and prepare. Uh, and then you have a, a few seconds of scrambling desperation as you escape. Whereas it seems like they're going full deus ex here in uh, chapter two. Sneaking into facilities full of uh, autonomous guard bots. Alright, seems... I think I've found everything there is to find. There's probably more that I've missed, but whatever. Are there going to be cameras? I can't, I can't, I can't do the deus ex corner lean. Looks like one of them is right behind me. I guess it must be deeper. I wonder how, actually, I can check. Six meters below me, yeah, so this coils around and down. Can I not pick that up? Oh, apparently not. Oh, it was behind glass. I am a fool. Nothing personnel, kid. This place must be stuffed full of valuable shit for me to steal while I'm here, right? It's a high-tech secret robot facility. Those are traditionally full of uh, valuable shit to steal. Both in the sense that it's a high-tech facility full of robots, and also that it's a high-tech facility that constructs robots. In many senses of the word, it is a high-tech robot facility. It's probably staffed by robots, too. I wonder how destructible these walls are. Ah, bedrock. Alright, let's check out this story first, then. And then we can head down when we discover how far it goes, which is exactly this far. <laughs> I guess that's just a loading bay. The music's even kind of deus sexy. I should, uh, oh, I should stream deus ex. Greatest game of all time. My absolute favourite. I was going to let's play it, but I've stalled out on my in-depth YouTube let's plays because I am unwell and I'm unable to make them properly for that same reason. I smell a robot. Are we cool or is he gonna shoot me? Oh, this is directly inspired by those big dog presentations. Uh, the, uh, Boston Dynamics presentations where they're kicking the shit out of their little robot and everyone got very everyone felt very anthropomorphized about the little robot that they were fucking up. Perhaps uh questionably, given as those robots are like everyone's been saying like entirely all the way along, like one hundred percent those things are uh actually shit, I should take the photo first before I fuck it up. <laughs> So I'm going to time this right. Turn around! Ah, whatever. Anyway, like, people go like, oh, it's a, oh, you know, we love dogs, even robot dogs, especially robot dogs and all that stuff. And it's like, no, those things are like... Step one, instantaneously built for, uh like, police and military deployment. Like, they are not your friends. They are... Uh, going to be causing some fucking problems. <laughs> oh shit, for real. Uh, hmm. Can I break this? Probably not. Yeah, he doesn't look like he cares. I wonder if I'm eventually going to get hardware that can fuck this stuff up, or if the point is to provide 
stuff that I can't beat, that I have to run away from. Which is kind of curious, because the game hasn't bothered to give me anything that I could defeat in the first place. Except, arguably, the physical obstacles between me and what I'm doing in general down here. Which, of course... I suppose this is more of an introductory thing, right? This is just like, hey, look at all the stuff you're going to be dealing with soon. It's like a tutorial, really. If that's the case, I should probably... be encouraged to... Hold still, you little fuck. Alright. Just leave run around like a little wanker now. Prefer to get cornered, dumb cop. Let's see. Oh, he can turn around. He's smart. Smart like that. Aha! <laughs> hmm. Well, you know, proof of concept is there. In theory, it worked. All right, let's go. <laughs> Body checked me out of the way. Yeah, I haven't photographed it yet. Can I zoom with my camera? I don't think I can. And that doesn't count. There's gotta be a way to trap this thing. What was I tie cables to it? <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. I love this game. Oh my god, that's absolute perfection. Game of the fucking year, last year or whenever, like... I mean, it didn't win that, but it should have, Jesus Christ. Oh, live fire targeting now, is it? They're gonna shoot me, I bet it will. No, we're fine. Generally speaking, autonomous death robots are a bad thing to exist. Like, I'm no robo-ethicist. I'm merely a robot who is also an ethic ethicist. That's, that doesn't make sense. I haven't seen anything fucking valuable down here. Where the hell... Is all my valuables. Oh shit. Oh boy. I've learned my lesson, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, the real question is did it attack me because it sensed the explosion? Or because it saw me. Because if it was because it saw me, I'm going to have to, like, solid snake this. Which I can do. Uh, no one should ever question my ability to solid snake. Can I explode these doors? Wait, were there explosion sensors? No. There probably should be, though. I want them to know it was a break-in. Go 
Come on, robot, you're free. Get out of the pushing zone. I know you're the pushing robot and that you're here to protect us from the terrible secret of space, which is an incredibly deep cut that no one will get. God damn it. How did I do this before? I just took a photo of the fucker. There we go. I'm extremely sleepy today. Alright, where's the, uh... I wonder if that's what you're supposed to do. Or if there's a different intended solution. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not that easy to robo-shibari bondage these assholes. something I don't. Why did it work before and it's not working now? I'm not made of cables. Okay, you little bastard. Got him. Okay, great. I'm pissed off enough by these uncooperative robots that I'm going to purposefully destroy every door between me and freedom. That one's nice, he's cooperative, that one's friendly enough. Yeah, they should hire me to, like, as a robot wrangler, right? They're gonna need people who are good at making robots do shit. Alright, let's see what happens this time if I could try and get close. Because this one's presumably fully operational. Oh, shit. Good thing I smashed all these, huh? Well, the other one's gonna come after me. Well, that one seems to have been trapped. <laughs> I don't think any of the rest of these are a threat. I think I'm fine. There's not even a timer on the... Uh, you know, the Levertron 5000. Like, I can just fuck off. That was close. <laughs> Nearly got myself shortened by a few inches. Gotta destroy the dock so they can't follow me. Alright, I'm good. <laughs> hmm. 
Alright, I've been successfully tutorialized. I have learnt the robot rules. Oh shit, there was some treasure at the back of that. Facility, I've just remembered. My first attempt, I saw it. Behind the robot. But did I pick it up? Prob doesn't look like it, no. Hmm. I'm gonna go back in just to get that out for completion's sake, but also because I want the money. Let's see how fast I can do it. I wonder if I can rocket launch at the big uh, blast doors, or if it needs to be the full bombs. You know what? This can be a fact-finding mission. This is good. It's good to l learn this. Also, it looks like there might be something in the roof of this. I think this little guard post. It's a good place to hide things, you know. Well, uh, we may never know. <laughs> Learned my lesson this time. Also, I don't even need to actually complete the mission again. I can just grab the thing and then return to base. Since uh, loot pickups are maintained at like the account level. What are these? Like, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be just crates or if they're like big munition boxes. I was just vindictive, that's beneath me. Be good as a big pl steel plate, but I don't have one of those. Bulletproof material. Well, better than nothing, I guess. I mean, 150 is not bad for a single item. As you can see, that did in fact work. I do want more nitroglycerin, but it's expensive. I saw you made a deposit. You got a new client? You mu they must be paying really well. Anyway, I was thinking about the van. Maybe we should get you a new one. I could actually use your old rust bucket for my grocery shopping. I saw this at the dealer. What do you think? Long time no see. After the Lee case was closed, I didn't really dig further into Blue Tide or Mr. Amanadi Amana Amanati days. But just recently, we've gotten several toxicology reports indicating there's something in his energy drink that shouldn't be there. Our addictometer maxed out, and that thing's not even very sensitive. I just tried it on my morning coffee. No reaction. Can you head over to Hollow Rock and get clean samples of the secret ingredients? It would help us identify what he's mixing in and where he's getting it. By the way, I heard they closed a deal with Robosec recently, so stay safe. Time for robots. So I guess... Like, part of what I learned there is, you know, there's various ways to bypass the robots, but also the robots are tough. I can't kill them. I bet if I can knock them off a dock, they'll be fucked in the water. But I don't, maybe if they see me, that will set the alarm off, you know? I mean, what is the point of an alarm robot that doesn't set the alarm off? Unless this place is so secretive that they don't even care about whether or not the police get called and they just want to kill all their intruders, which... I mean, wouldn't be the first time, you know? There have probably been people who stole the, you know, Coca-Cola secret recipe who never made it out alive. Because those guys are stone cold. Right, what am I doing? Secret chemicals. I hear- oh shit! Well, it didn't set the alarm off at least. Do they- 
do they reset to unalerted states after a bit? Like, uh... Jesus, this thing's fucking terminatoring. Looks like it's looking for my last location. But they've also got that big red glowing spot on their back. Like, that's got to be a weak spot, right? Where did it go? Is it patrolling? Or is it hunting me? Is it going up here because it knows I was up here? How smart are they? Where the hell did it go? Are they ghost robots? I guess, I guess maybe it just was on a patrol route and spotted me and then when it couldn't chase me, it went away. Oh shit, there he is. Oh, it lost sight of me, okay. So they have a fairly, fairly narrow sight radius. And they always turn to face me, but the question is, are they turning to face me so that I can't shoot them in the back? And how chasey are they? Is he going to come around here and get me? I can hear him. But he seems to have... I guess once you leave their immediate vicinity, they go back to what they were doing. Or maybe it's still looking for me. No, that one's, like, stationed where it was. Alright, well, it felt bad, but I don't think I hurt it. Can I lay a trap? Ah, fuck. Alright, that one was hiding in the, the blue shop over here. Oh, there he is. Alright, so they, if, it, if I get into its field of view at all, it's going to come after me. Will it go investigate the explosion noise? Yeah, it will. Okay. Does that mean I can sneak up behind it? Alright, I have to conclude that was not a weak- <gasps> I did it! I killed him! Oh no, but you can st Okay, so you can't kill him, but you can stun them. Good to know. Get in the fucking water, you. <laughs> once, it, once again, mankind triumphs over the machine. Alright, where's that secret ingredient? Three meters upstairs. <laughs> oh, I have to explode this open. Okay. And I know I'm the machine, but the character in this game is not the machine. The character in this game is but a mortal human, so that's why it makes sense for me to say the thing I said. Oh, fuck. Okay, good. Not alarmed. I just have to deal with the, the robots. Which is probably fine, because I do have 36 more of those goddamn explosives. Well, 32 or however many. Pretty sure there was a shortcut back up around here somewhere. So that I wouldn't have to go all the way... All the way around again. I'm not sure, though. Well, you know what? This is... This is teardown. We make our own shortcuts.
And sometimes they're a little bit steep for shortcuts, but that's okay. That's okay. We make mistakes. It's just part of being alive. Sometimes we make bigger mistakes. Sometimes we fall down. But we do that so we can pick ourselves back up, Master Bruce. How's that for a timely reference? It's probably one of them up in this house. I think I can hear one of them. Six meters up, 11 meters down. So there's one in the secret cave. Not a robot, but a target. Three meters up, so it's on the second story. I could just... Gordian, not this. Ah, there it is. I'm going to try and steal this safe so that I can not have to fight the robot over it. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, God. How do they get the safe up here if it's not if it's so st so heavy it'll break the floor? Well, time to hide under the stairs. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Please don't kill me, Mr. Robot. <sighs> you know what I like between me and bullets? Thick walls. Oh shit. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> well, I suppose that's one way of dealing with a robot. Could have been worse, could have been better. And you know what that is? That is fine. I wonder if nitroglycerin can bust into the giant safe under this, uh, under this destination. Occasionally this game does just let you go hog wild with explosives. And those are always the best bits. Oh, I forgot I upgraded this. Fantastic. Probably fire alarms, right? Yeah. Uh, time to dutifully put the fire out. Okay, let's get some more rubble out of the way. Look at that. I want it. I know that if one of these doesn't bust through, the others won't help, and yet somehow I'll feel like I didn't do my due diligence. Nothing. How do you get in there? Maybe I should have nitroglycerin the door, actually. Probably would have been smarter. Oh, okay. Interesting. That was enough to kill me. I think there's some kind of a simulation of a pressure wave, because I've definitely- Ah, oh, I'm all the way back here. I've definitely died to stuff that I would not have expected to kill me. These things have rapidly become less threatening, I'll say that. <laughs> I 
Alright, that's one. It is kind of nice that you occasionally get these missions where you can just, you know, take your time, have a little fun with it. You don't need to worry so much about alarms going off or whatever. Did they reinforce the gate? Or have they just never missed the lock before? Alright, I want to see what's in the underground space. No, I'll get rid of the one on the roof again. It seems like they might be dumb enough to just easily lure off the edge of things, so that's good to know. Oh, these things are fun to bully. There's nothing quite as lovely in life as when you discover a new thing that's fun to bully. <laughs> it's sad, but it's true. There's one as well. Might just try and sneak past that one. I wonder if I can fuck it up with a forklift truck. <laughs> Small, bullied by self-critical automaton. I can understand why. He's gonna fucking kill me. Sturdy safe to the rescue. Can't shoot me if I'm behind a bulletproof safe, asshole. Can explode me. I'm honestly just enjoying playing with these things too much to really take it seriously. I think I talked about this on a previous stream. There's definitely something interesting about games that allow you to vicariously experience bullying without actually having to harm another human being. NPCs that have a little bit of life to them. Like, it's hard to simulate an NPC who feels like a human being, like a real person, but it's quite easy to simulate an NPC that feels like something alive. Maybe something with, with a non-human intelligence, but something. <laughs> they just walk through the door, nice. Let's get you down there. Oh, that looks kind of trapped, actually. Is he stuck? No. I think you probably do, probably have a lot of fun luring these things into traps. I don't know why I did that. But like goofy little robots or goblins or whatever, or, or people in games where they're abstracted from being too human. There's definitely a, a real something. Where their silly little legs wiggle, you know. Like, you know, bumbling around, bustling about, awkwardly trying to move while you tie sequ increasing sequential numbers of objects to them. In fact, the more human... The more human the NPCs are, the less fun they are to bully, because they feel less like real things, because, be, simply because the game can't 
simulate rags and water bottles. Are you fucking kidding me? Incomprehensible what this man de decides to steal. I can't take the TV, but I can steal some rags and water bottles. Anyway, yeah, as they get increasingly human, uh, you become increasingly aware of how inhuman they are. Um, but games can simulate an animal, or like a silly little robot, uh, way more accurately they, than they can simulate a human person, simply because those things are so much simpler, at least to human perception. You know, if, I don't know, if deer could think and talk, they'd probably find deer in video games as inhuman as we find NPCs. Um, I'm so glad that worked. Oh, I can probably, probably explode this one for free if I'm smart about it. Oh, just enough. Just enough to sneak my hand through. Don't ask how I managed to lever that entire thing out through that tiny hole. Next one is. Next robot, I mean. Mm, I suppose that's true, you're right. Like that they do bond with the like zoology robots sometimes. Tumbling down the staircase. Because, like, it's fun to, like, mess with NPCs in, like, a Hitman game or it, even The Sims. People love to torture their Sims. Like, it's all part of the same thing. It's just it's just fun to, to bully a little freak. Um, but that's bad to do in real life, generally speaking. In fact, well, it's, it's always bad to bully in real life, just in case I sound like I'm uh, encouraging behaviours that I don't want to encourage. Which is why I think it's good that video games exist. I think it's good that humanity can, uh, you know, exercise the urge to, um, you know, have a little thing be walking forwards, going about its big business, and then pick it up and turn it around so as to walk back the way it came, and then do it again when it turns around again. You know, it's delightful. Um, or to construct elaborate, like, traps for them to get tangled up in, or whatever. If I'm behind this, can it see me? Oh god, what's on fire? Oh, he killed me, okay. You know, I kind of thought the bulldozer would give me a bit of armor, but that is apparently not the case. I was hoping I could... <laughs> I was hoping I could tie him to the bulldozer and then bulldoze the bulldozer out the back of the building. If I make enough of these explosions, he'll fall into the sea by himself. Actually, shit, if I'd blown up the floor under him when he was over here. Oh, that would have been smart, huh? If I'd done that. I wonder if I can make it shoot out the floor underneath itself. Is he gonna come down here and fight me like a man? Oh, 
Oh, that's another one down. Oh shit, the fire's getting big. Where is the fire? I'm a, I'm an arson I'm a selective arsonist and widely respected vandal. It is disrespectful to my professional capabilities to make me put out a fucking fire. All right. I think that's that problem solved. Do you know, I don't think I've ever actually looked in this office back here. It might be new. Or it might have been here the whole time and I just never explored it. But it's got something valuable up there. Time to yank the plank. That's what they call it. Ah, valuables? Uh, none. Maybe it's dumb to expect that people will hide unsecured valuables in an open loft space. But you know what? Enough of people have done it in this setting. But it is just a consistent thing people do. Is this door locked? No, no. Opens the other way. Aha! Okay, there's that. And no valuables, once again, as far as I can tell. I'm not even anything hidden under the table. I haven't tried it, but I wonder if I hide under a... Ow, fuck. Difficult to reposition those things. Anyway, um, I've forgotten what I was saying. Oh yeah, no, if I hide un in under a box and scooch around, can they see me? That's the, that's the question I want to ask. One left, probably also protected. Definitely also protected. Alright. Well, I can see why the rocket launcher is in the game now. It's definitely useful for these things. You know what? I don't need to fight this one. I can just leave. <laughs> Not quite what I meant to do, as I give myself uh, rapid onset hypothermia. I wonder if they're vulnerable to fire. Like, how many fans do they got on the immense... They should have fire extinguishers built into them, that would be cool. Or you should be able to blind them with the fire extinguisher, maybe? Do you think he knows where I am? Oh my god, it doesn't. Go about your business, nobody's here. Holy shit. There we go, problems solved. We did it, Squidward, we saved the city. We'll pro probably not bother killing all of the robots, but you know what I am? Uh, uh, there isn't really a word for a robot killer, I suppose. How is this safe in one piece? I guess they don't call it a safe for nothing. Fire alarms here have less leeway than the fire alarms in other levels, which would make sense. 
considering it's a chemical plant. Alright, that's another 100% admission. Oh, is there a hurricane? Blowing in. I suppose there must be, or he wouldn't be boarding up all the things extremely clumsily. A rifle? What's the point of a hunting rifle for... Like, I mean, unless it's like a, one of those like massive, like oversized 50 cal rifle, like shoulder 50 cal rifles with the reciprocating barrels. You know, the joke about those was always like, Jesus, what are you hunting? Fridges or engine blocks or whatever. But um, I mean, I guess this guy is quite literally hunting robots. Why is he installing? Why would you install this first? Why wouldn't you get the floor in position and then install the... I guess it's a recessed sofa, like a 1970s floor pit type situation. I really did think those look kind of comfy, but... Actually, I just realized I haven't even tried the hunting rifle. I suppose that is... that does let me zoom in, which is nice. It'll let me detonate stuff from far away if I use the nitroglycerin. Probably isn't going to let me snipe out those uh, hot spots on the back of the robots, which I'm starting to think are simply decorative. Despite the security upgrade, I had a recent break-in at Hollow Rock. The new robots are not performing as advertised. I had a string of similar break-ins last summer, and I suspect this might be related. Yeah, I suppose that means that there, this is the third, uh, like, fancy CEO man who who is being uh, relentlessly thieved by me. And hired by hiring me and me thieving him also. Production has had a significant setback due to the break-in, and as a result, we haven't been able to meet demand. Our stores are running low, and this reflects unfavorably on the company. However, some dealer in Fristrum has surplus stock and has been selling my product to my own customers throughout our ordeal. They've been lining their pockets whilst we're occupied with fallout from the break-in. Very unsympathetic behavior. To rectify this, I would like you to reclaim my product from Fristrum to restock my wares. Fristrum has been evacuated due to the storm, so it should be straightforward. Oh, okay. Another new location. Oh, this is the chase! Ah! Okay, I was hoping we'd get to come back here. Yeah, I was wondering if there'd be a complication like that. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess it's bad if that happens to me. I was hoping I'd be able to just, like, explore this place at my own leisure find any hidden loot but um if there's a a whirlwind doing that as well that might be a bit risky I guess it makes sense to just be in cover until you know I dip out periodically to grab things such as whatever valuables I can glean of which there must be some Because there definitely wasn't much time to search for said valuables when we were here before. The question is, is the storm actually hunting me in some respect? Like, is the, is the game director moving it around and telling it to go after me? Am I being hunted by this storm?
Okay, what do I... Am I supposed to... Oh, move them to the escape vehicle. And there's robots? No, tornadoes. So I guess I have to move them to the vehicle without getting them tornadoed away. Or maybe they have a... Maybe they'll be breakable themselves. Where's the escape vehicle? I guess I could always tie it to things with cables as well. Alright, that's one. I might uh, wait on looting this area and do it on a different mission when I'm not going to get tornadoed. That was a stroke of luck that I managed to grab this vehicle. Oh, shit. Well, I guess I'm up here now. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh, there's one. There's one in that truck, huh? I guess I'll bring them back one by one. When I reach that truck, I can. Just uh, drive the whole truck back. Oops. Aha! A tribal mask. Questionable. There's probably going to be a mission with those robots in this area later. Oh, so there's a questionable bone collection, but the African tribal mask or just tribal mask, is not a questionable thing for a random Scandinavian to be owning. Anyway, I suspect there'll be a robots mission that will be all about sneaking my way through. Uh, to avoid said robots. Aha! Lovely. One of the things I do really like- oh shit. Well, that one's gone. Did it go in the water? Anyway, one of the things I really do like about this game is that they keep coming up with new complications, new stuff for you to deal with. And then they let you have a really, like, strong while to get the... get to grips with it. But, uh, they're always introducing new complications at a decent, like, decent rate so that you don't get bored. Alright, well that's two, I guess. I'm gonna go in this one on purpose. Hell yeah. I guess I might as well be fairly quiet today, both because I'm tired 
and because nobody's not many people are watching today which I guess is is good good luck really like if there's a day where I'm gonna be more quiet because I'm zony outy because I'm tired and broadly unwell better that such a day is a day when there's not tons of people around why the hell I thought there was one in here oh it must be upstairs right here. But I found myself a clever shortcut. Oh, is it in the attic, maybe? Two meters above. Oh, there it is. There we go. funny because this is how um, whirlwinds are in movies and things but it's not how they are in real life at all you're already fucked if you ever get anywhere near one like you don't have to touch the tube to be sucked up uh, which would definitely be a fun phrase to take out of context if you were so inclined a lost wallet six dollars in it wow okay right what have we got next I got three left two over there. I might be better off attaching those to a truck. I think I'll get this truck into a decent position and then like tie these two to it maybe? Or just yeet them into the back of the pickup. Which means I'll have to try and get the truck inside first so that it's protected because otherwise uh, that will happen. <laughs> I'm starting to get really good at judging how far I can... Jesus Christ. Was that here to start with? Is that just part of the level that the top of this house has come off? Or does it always throw that? The entire roof off. Cube van. Cube van's good. Oh, fuck. What the shit was that? Obscure kleptomaniac urges is an extremely good phrase. I think you should be proud of yourself, acrylic spatter. Ah, oh, fuck, I have to get that one again. God damn it, I should have saved. In fact, I thought I did save. When I eventually get around to uploading this to the YouTube, today's episode will be obscure kleptomaniac urges, because that's good. That's a tasty phrase. Actually, shit, yoke me. Let me, get, let, me, let me get up nice and high. Not quite as high as I wanted to get, but it'll do. Oh, hey. Some stuff fell out of that cupboard. And it was valuable stuff. Alright, quick save. Ooh, that was close. Quick save. 
Then we can go off and try and grab the- oh fuck. <laughs> Every time it flings me up in the air like that I'm like, oh hey my old frisbee! I always wondered where that went. See how many beer cans there are on top of the bar, you know? Oh, I thought there was a bridge here. I found a surprising amount of loot for a mission where I'm not trying to find the loot. I think it must be the, like, the lightning. Certain areas are scripted to do certain things. Because I definitely heard one of those explode just now. Yeah, you're gonna drop that on my head. I bet you are. Hey, that one that one didn't go boom. It's honestly just safer for me to detonate them. Right, let's see if I can get that let's get get the pickup truck there. Hey my Varinthia, I haven't seen you in ages. I'm playing an extremely fun game about wanton destruction. All right, if I leave it in here for a minute, I'll be all right. I can I can stick this stuff up in the back and lock it in position. For the first time, I will feel like a true American, loading cans of uh, energy drink into the back of my pickup truck. As is my true God-given right as an American. I'm not an American, as everyone knows. No, I am. The inhabitant of a space station, which means technically I'm under no one's jurisdiction but my oh fuck. Haha! -ha. I was physically stronger than a hurricane. I always I always suspected it was true, but it's the kind of thing that you have to actually test before you can rely on it. Oh shit. I'm gonna charge directly towards this and think, oh fuck. I thought it would run out before I got there. I don't last long. Oh shit, fires are starting now as well. Let's see if I can manhandle this into my pickup truck. Get the hell out of here. Whoa. Or perhaps not. Hey, <laughs> I landed on my wheels. Fantastic. As long as it doesn't do that again. Whoa, but golden. I'll be safe under here. Everyone knows tornadoes can't get you if you're under a if you're under cover. That's um you know, they're very, very uh, honourable weather phenomena, tornadoes. Famously, like, they play by the rules. Alright, I'm gonna quick save here, make sure the bridge is down. Oh, that's... there's one missing. Ah, the cube van at the back. Right. That one, I should be able to just drive the van. With any luck. Hey, could you throw that car out of my way? That's not what I wanted. No, you bastard! Not in the drink! Not in the drink! Heartbreaking. I suppose, actually, I could get those cars out of the way myself. This is a power that exists within me. 
I have a great deal of explosives with which to do it, no less. Now I can physically lift this and throw it away. Drive that one out of the way. Alright, I've made my life a little bit easier. I should be able to drive this extremely destroyed pickup truck all the way to the cube truck at the back, which is what I need to then drive to the escape. So that's nice. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, that's super on fire, huh? I'm just gonna ditch this. <laughs> this Jeep looks a little bit a little bit more uh functional. Ugh. Well, Goodbye, Jeep. I salute you, briefly. That's... I need that bridge to come down. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Is it gonna get concertina like a tin can? Gently squashed. Nope, just knocked loose. That's a shame. Because, um... Those are one of the only things in the entire game world which... Uh, I've already forgotten... Oh, uh, yeah, no, vehicles are the only things in the entire game world which have a kind of inviolable physicality. Uh, they have a, an indestructible core. Which is the thing that the game considers a vehicle object rather than a, a whatever, other, whatever other object. Is this thing going to be too dense for it to lift up? That's an important question. We're alright. I think we're alright. I should play Euro Truck Simulator. It's ripping bits off the back, Jesus Christ. Got a lot of clearance in here. Rid of this giant boulder with the incredible upper arm strength that this gentleman has. Oh no, fuck. No, we're alright, it's fine. That was close. Narrow goddamn bridges, huh? I can wait patiently for that to finish, and there we go. <laughs> uh, time for the real test. It worked! It was too dense to be lifted. And that's another 100% completion. Not that it's difficult to 100% these levels. Um, But, that's pretty cool. I like this video game a lot. Oh, he did buy the new truck. I'm starting to wonder what new tools it can possibly give me. It's given me a hunting rifle I can't imagine I'll ever use. But I have found a use for everything so far, except the rocket engines, which are the only piece of material I've found in this game so far that I have no real use for. Although, I do suspect that there's something I could do that would be pretty fun. Because, what I have found out about the rocket boosters is that... If I put a bunch of rocket boosters on the end of one thing and use it as a fulcrum... Which isn't what I'm doing right now, but if I do that, I can uh, catapult myself. So, when I was playing in creative mode earlier, which I've never done before, but I was doing for 10 minutes before stream time. Well, that was unfortunately not stable, and I've wasted them all now, but that's fine. What do we got? Blue Tide? Oh, okay. The, high, the highly questionable drink. Uh, what does that do? It probably gives me a speed boost. 
Interesting. It looks like uh, he has now decided to remove the large cargo lift that once occupied his living room. I thought he was going to turn this into a hybrid living and workspace, but he's just doing a, a total... Uh, what do you call it? Um, conversion. A total um, thingy conversion. What do they call them? Warehouse. A total warehouse conversion. Just making the entire thing into... Uh, like a nice little place to be. Oh, that was the bathtub. That's a hell of a bathtub. Not a, a recessed uh, seating area like I thought. Anyway, I thought he was going to keep this end to be a construction area and a garage like it was previously. I'm surprised that he's gone so far as to even remove the cargo lift. We found something. Turns out the ingredients you brought back from Hollow Rock contains an unknown, highly addictive chemical. Surprising. One of the samples still had the shipping label on, and it's coming from Evertide's Mall. Did some digging into the ownership structure of the mall, and it's got a match to one of the Amanitides holding companies. He's using the mall as a repackaging... as repackaging central, so the chemical must be sent to Evertide's from somewhere, repackaged, then passed on to Hollow Rock. Could you pay a visit to Evertide's and get the shipping logs? I have dirt on Amanitides already, but without the source of this chemical, there's not a lot I can do. <laughs> it is a speed boost. <clears throat> I am big smart. Hunting rifle. Precision and long range. Bullets pierce through multiple, several layers of material. Hmm. I'll have to experiment to see what that's for. But I want more nitroglycerin. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to have fun with it eventually. Alright, looks like this is the first normal mission possibly for Evertide is is this Evertide small one cuz i've um fire alarm wired alarm boxes yeah okay it's been a while since we did a normal mission it's been a chain of several unique ones uh but this looks like your standard here's a bunch of stuff in a location if you take them the alarms go off um Prep yourself an elaborate route and speed run your way to victory kind of mission. One day there's going to be something valuable in a shipping container. One day. But today is not that day. Also, <laughs> I've found valuables in bins two or three times now in this game, so I kind of have to obsessively check them all. All right, that's one attached to the wall. So that one will have to be on a escape route. Can't re reposition it. Surprised by how many aren't in the mall building. This might be a tough one or it might be easy. It's hard to tell with the... Ooh, sports car. That'll be useful. It's hard to tell with these ones. That's on the ground floor. 12 meters up, that's on the ground floor. 7 meters up, 13 meters up. Who wires alarms to a stack of labels? Aha, okay, there's the other one. Also attached to the wall, inconveniently. I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out that all of them are, uh, are, are immobile, but I do I, I do just like to check, because sometimes a few of them you can fiddle with. Not that one, though. Probably all of the ones inside the mall can't be repositioned, but maybe a couple outside can. Okay. Was that always like that?
And there's another one. Yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of knocking holes in the ceiling and grabbing things from beneath to be slightly faster. If I can get as many things to, like, a single path as possible, that's going to be to my benefit. Yeah, so it looks like everything inside is immobile. Definitely need to get rid of those if I want to get out fast. There's one there and one there. That one looks mobile. <clears throat> it's probably inside one of those shipping containers. So I can go put that right next to the exit now. one's not mobile okay so probably my best option is to prep a path through the mall that ends here so maybe i'll start here and go like do 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 or no start at the top and work my way down then i'll be crisscrossing a lot hmm i guess if i start a path on the second floor and work my way around anyway um what's anyway grab everything in the mall Hop in a vehicle, drive to here, grab this, drive to here, get out. Which means I should set up the outdoor car paths first. Because that way... Uh -huh, I can then like spend as long as I like fine-tuning the interior path in the mall. Don't need this. Oh, this little food zone wasn't here before. I wonder if there's valuables. I don't think I've ever seen a valuable in the back of a, of a vehicle, though. Not sure. Hmm. If I can get a rugged vehicle, I can definitely ramp off of this earth. I can start over there, hit... Probably not necessary. Hit this, ramp off this, land over there and head straight on. Alright, there's an alarm, but the alarm is wired to the interior of the thing. means that I can move the box if I can find a crane or something similar. Aha, there's a crane. Otherwise I could hook it up with like cables to a truck and move the truck. That would also work. But it's been a while since I got to play with my good friend Crane. Oh hey, I've been leaving footprints! Oh, that's adorable. Oh my god. This game loves to delight me. It loves to surprise me with lovely things. Dynamic footprints everywhere I've stepped in the level so far. That's absolutely charming. I should just be able to drag this. Even if bits of it break, so long as the main thing doesn't break, it'll be okay. Uh oh. It's a little it's just a little busted, it's still good, we're fine. Ah fuck. <laughs> I made it most of the way. Still, conveniently, that means I know what to do from the start this time. I'm going to get these cars out of the way. 
I'll have to do that at some point anyway. I could just explode them, but I'm probably going to want to use several of them, or at least some of them. Plus, we have nothing but respect for the white panel van. A true working man's vehicle, that one. Oh, you know what I will do, though? That wasn't quite what I expected to happen, but that's fine. Does this thing have enough torque to pull this away? Not remotely. Wowzers. Hi, Trokantazi. Alright, well I guess it just goes to show, never use a mini for towing work. My father said that to me when he was uh, on his deathbed, and I never never understood what it was supposed to mean until now. Alright, I'll have to get like a truck and use the truck to tow the mini. Yeah, that'll work. I'll use this van. Nice, Lots of torque on a nice van. What do you mean I could simply break the cables and do this again? No, no, we're gonna tow. It's fine. All right, fine. <laughs> yes, there are indeed. You also missed uh, the entertaining sight of me bullying robots. Which is bad when humans do it, but I'm also a robot, so it's fine for me to bully robots. Because it's fine for humans to bully humans. If I've watched, if I've learned anything about watching humans, it's that it's fine. You guys think it's fine to bully each other, so it's all good. Knock them over, drag them across the floor, violently put them in the drink. That's what it boils down to. With robots, it might be different for humans, I wouldn't know. There's gotta be something I can do about this. Can I burn it? Ah, I can burn it. Fantastic, that'll do. In the grand scheme of ways to get rid of something you don't like, fire is traditionally effective. I'll probably want that jeep again, though. I'm still delighted that it's got these little um, tracks wherever I've gone. All the all the little round footprints wherever I've gone in the level. And the fact that they're just circles rather than feet-shaped footprints proves that my headcanon that this is not a man but some kind of uh, bipedal elephant is well-founded. Who else could have the upper body strength to uh, knock holes in walls with sledgehammers? lift up most of a truck and do various other feats of daring do. Sometimes I accidentally open a door so hard that it explodes the wall behind the door. So clearly this is some kind of muscle-bound behemoth of a man. Of course I'm just assuming... Actually no, we know, we know for sure the main character of this game is a man because his... Well okay, we have reason to suspect. A reasonable reason to think. The protagonist of the game is a man because his mother refers to him as her son. Which isn't necessarily conclusive, given as how people are about certain things. However, it is probable. This is my monument to capitalism. Your next, City Lights.
Anyway, the game started to get a little bit deus ex with it, which was nice to see. Uh, but it's now gone back to being itself, which is also nice to see, because I extremely like... This game's kind of default attitude, or whatever you want to call it. Its usual form of being. Are you- are you refer- I don't know the reference with burning the passports, I'm afraid. Yot. Anyway, unfortunately I'm being a little bit quieter than usual because I'm tired and sickly. But self-critical automaton, you're always tired and usually sickly. Ah, but you see, nevertheless. Ah, I see. You're referencing things that I'm not cool enough to know about. I suppose that's something you could reasonably do if you so decided. Oh shit, those are wood. That's not ideal. Ah, uh, there we go. Because I don't know if fire will set off an alarm and I don't want to set this thing off yet. Oh right, all the planks I put on there. Aha, I'm stupid. Did my own thing. Ah, fair enough, yeah. Fuck borders also. Um, as said the pirate to the naval captain. Alright, there we go. I can grab that from outside. So I can grab that on my way back to escape. Okay, good. That's part one of my setup complete. Part two, I'm going to move this jeep, since this thing's actually surprisingly fast. Nice, speedy, very good handling. Which is exactly what you want, really. Back this 18-wheeler up. As it sinks like the Titanic. I suppose I could let this whole thing burn down. I'm not gonna though. lined up. This whole thing smacks of capitalism, I yell as I turn the Evertides Mall into the Evertides of shit. Alright, the handling might not be that amazing. That looks like a good place. God, physics engines, eh? Remember when it would be basically impossible to have had a physics engine where a, a bendy bit of metal could get caught on another thing? Magic. Okay, right, that's my second, that's my secondary escape vehicle there. So I take that, I drive, vroom, over here, grab this and leave, which means I now need to set up my path within the mall and then arrange a car. Uh, via which I can escape said mall. Such as this nippy looking boy. Speedy, speedy. 
I guess I will have to prep an exit though. Okay, pro tip, don't do this. Because the downside of rotating doors is that they make it very hard to get through when there's a countdown timer for a large explosion going on. How do I upgrade it, this? sports car I'll leave here so that I can set it where I need it on the way out right where are the goddamn things this one's on the ground floor this one's on the ground floor and this one's on the ground floor it's gonna be a nightmare to grab all these things wait that's in the back Yeah, there's that one. Okay, okay, here's a, all right. I guess, yeah. If I grab the upstairs ones, if I go on the second story, I should be able to reach through the ceiling to grab these ones. So I'll, I'll grab this, this, this. And that leaves me here, I'll grab this one and then drive a car through to here to grab this one, maybe? I think I've probably got enough time if I if I do that, yeah. Which means it's time to make holes in walls again. Is it going to be worth using all of my bombs to make enough holes in enough walls that I can drive through here? Maybe I should just try and do it on foot first and then add a car if I need to. I think that's what I'll do. I don't need staircases and neither does anyone else. So then this one is... Oh, it's in the back of the blue tides place. So if I, if I grab that one, then I emerge from here and I go in through blue tides. This one. Yes, ladies, I am forklift certified in space. All right, so I grab that one out of here, around the corner. through here. Grab that one. Out through here to where I've pinked my convenient pink sports car. Okay, that works out. I oh, hate it blows the snow, that's cute.
where am I coming from for that? Through here. Brilliant. They'll never they'll never suspect a thing. Absolute stroke of brilliance the designer had to give us this uh, spray can. It's really fun. And incredibly useful. Very fun to write with as well. Actually, shit, while I'm here, I should probably make a point to nobody at all, since the game doesn't really care. There we go. Haha, <laughs> take that, capitalism. Alright, so I can start here, grab that, sprint forwards <laughs> through my conveniently pre-hulked hallway. And then it's that way. Boom, over here, in here. Grab that one, turn left. Around here, I'm going to get these crates out of the way. Through here. In here. This way. In here, grab that one. Back out. Grab in here. Zoom. Vroom my way over there. Hop out. Hop into the other car. Okay. Right, that works. I think that's good. Time for the slightly more complicated issue of the second story. Nine meters up. Might have to be the third story. Oh, that's three meters up. Uh... Eight meters up. Okay, so it actually has to be the, the next floor up, I guess. But working from this one should be okay. So that's five meters up. There it is. Okay. Actually, I should save before I start risking alarms going off, generally speaking. You should do that in real life too, if you can. All right. Oops. Oh, hey. I never thought to break that open before. They have a secret painting in the middle. It's not valuable, though, which is disappointing. Okay, right, so I can run up here. Ah, iron sprout mode, huh? I didn't even know this game had an iron man mode, actually. It makes sense that it does, but I would not, <laughs> I would not want to play with it. I've enjoyed playing f like full immersive sims with, with iron man modes, but all right, grab that. And we need a big hole in the floor to drop through. That'll do. And I drop through here. Grab that and then on we go. It's too fiddly to set up the roots and things. I can see I can see the appeal for people who are interested, but oh hey, I can. It never occurred to me that I could just ruin the targets before. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, right. Yeah, no, sorry. See, the issue there, Mavrinthia, is that um, I forget what I say the second I've said it. Like, I got that spicy ADHD. If I if someone says something to me or I say something to them, it's gone instantly afterwards. So I had completely forgotten that I joked about it being a good idea to save before you do crimes in real life. Funny old world, isn't it? Possibly too finicky that I bothered to get rid of these, but honestly, sometimes it matters. Oh, now why are you on fire? Away, we're backtracking our way through the game again. Okay. Oh, I love being destructive. Ah. I live a very. Aren't you tired of being nice? Haven't you ever wanted to go ape shit? Life. So this game is uh, very satisfying for me. meters up. That was possibly unnecessary. House plants are innocent. Actually, given this is a extremely capitalist hell mall, I imagine that that was only plastic. That's what I'll tell myself so that I can sleep at night. Ugh, fuck. Nice and stable again. Have a quick save. I see, but it worked out okay. All right, okay, we start here, we grab this. go out here, down here, this way, grab that one. Okay, this looks like, this looks like this could work as it is. I might not need any further fiddling. Little reminder there for me to jump over this bit and go that way. That should be golden. Let's see if we can manage it though. Because I did just quick save with that thing dangling, so if this doesn't work, I'm fucked. I think this is going to be okay. I think this might work out. Oh, 
I should have exploded a hole through this corner so I didn't need to walk around it. That would have been smart. Saved me like three seconds. If that. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Hell yeah, sports car. Oh shit! That was close. <laughs> Nearly screwed myself by accidentally getting back into the van. It's larceny never, uh, 101. Never get back in the van. Shoveling snow. Gotta make a path to my door. Cause God forbid. Anybody know about my flaw? Which is that I like to sing a silly little song when I complete my Grand Theft Auto. Right, what was I doing? Amanatides says, another setback. You won't believe this, there has been another break in, but this time the repackaging hub. It appears security was inadequate at best, so the manager's been released with immediate notice. Apparently someone has insights to my operation they shouldn't have. The new manager has an inkling of who could be responsible, so the matter will be discussed intently. If further knowledge is provided, I will need your assistance in this matter, so I'll wait further instructions. And then there's the next one, which looks like it's another new location. Which is going to be fun. But, I'm pushing two hours, and if I stream more than two hours in a night, I get sick. And I'm miserably unwell, because my body is all fucked up and not really recovering. But that's okay. I guess. Well, it's not really okay, but, you know, I have to deal with it. Anyway, so that's going to be it from me for today. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch, with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.